Hey everyone, I'm Marsha. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have another Instant Pot recipe for you guys. I'm gonna show you how to easily cook baked russet potatoes in your Instant Pot. Now, last year I shared a video on how to cook sweet potatoes in your Instant Pot. And that is because sweet potatoes happen to be one of my favorite vegetables and it was one of the first things I started making in the Instant Pot. But I have to admit, it took me a while to kind of play around with the cook times and get the perfect texture that I was looking for. Now that I've mastered that, I'm ready to show you how I make baked russet potatoes in the Instant Pot, the cook times that I recommend, and any extra tips that I might have for you. So let's jump into it. All right, so all you're gonna need is, of course, your Instant Pot, and I have the Instant Pot Duo Nova six quart. Then you're gonna need a cup of water, and then, of course, your russet potatoes. And I have medium-sized potatoes, and I'm gonna make three. With the six quart, you can fit about five or six potatoes in there, and then you just wanna adjust the amounts based off of what size Instant Pot that you have. All right, I've already washed my potatoes really well, and so now I'm just gonna poke a couple of holes in it just so the steam can escape while it's cooking in an Instant Pot and so my potatoes don't explode because that would be horrible. <laughs> All right, now you can go ahead and place your potatoes inside the Instant Pot. So your Instant Pot should have came with what's called a trivet rack. And that particular rack sits on the inside of the Instant Pot. And it allows you to place things like potatoes on top of the rack if you don't want anything to be touching the bottom of your Instant Pot. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit my trivet rack on the inside of the Instant Pot. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and place my potatoes on top of the rack. So your potatoes don't have to fit perfectly. If they're stacked on top of each other or if they're kind of leaning on top of each other, that's totally fine. Now you can go ahead and add your water to the Instant Pot. And the water is very important, you guys, because the Instant Pot needs some type of liquid to cook anything. So you wanna go ahead and add your water and then you're ready to put your lid on. So again, I have the Instant Pot Duo Nova and it actually comes with the updated lid. So this particular lid has the automatic sealing switch. So I don't have to worry about whether or not I'm turning the, the knob to sealing and not venting. And I think some of the older models, you had to make sure you turned it to sealing. So if you don't have this particular one, please make sure you turn that to sealing. But with this particular lid, it automatically does it for you. And you guys, I almost forgot to put my uh, ceiling ring on the inside of my lid. So I had to go back, make sure I added that to it, and then put my top on. So that's very important too. Make sure that ceiling ring is in there. <laughs> and I actually have an entire separate video on how to operate the Instant Pot. So if you are new to the Instant Pot world and you wanna know how to use it and just the basic steps on how to operate it, check that video out. I'll link it down below in the description box. All right, and now it's time to set your cook time. So I have tried out several different cook times, you guys, and like I told you with my sweet potatoes, I like my potatoes soft. So the best cook time, in my opinion, for soft russet potatoes is 24 minutes. Now I've tried 18 minutes, I've tried 20, I've tried 22, and I always would end up with, you know, stiff and hard potatoes. They wouldn't really be soft when I cut into it. Now if you like your potatoes, stiffer then by all means use 18 or probably 20 will work best for you but if you like yours a little bit softer like i do then 24 minutes is the way to go and once the 24 minutes is up you want to allow your instant pot to naturally release some of its pressure because if you do a quick release you run the risk of your potatoes busting or exploding so i like to do a natural pressure release for 15 minutes after the 15 minutes is up, I'll go ahead and push the quick release button to release any extra steam, and usually it's not that much um, extra steam or pressure left. And then it is time to enjoy your baked potatoes. So I am gonna put some salt, pepper, butter, sour cream, and chives on mine today. 
but feel free to add whatever you want to yours, load it up if you want, or keep it simple. And I hope you enjoy your baked potatoes. Well, I hope you enjoyed that easy tutorial on how to make baked russet potatoes in your Instant Pot. If you did, please leave me a big thumbs up down below. And again, feel free to load up that potato with whatever toppings that you enjoy. As always, I appreciate you being here. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button down below along with the bell so you never miss when I upload a video. And until next time, you guys, I'll see you later.